A lot of the past month's dinner inspiration came from my cookbooks, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life. And in today's video, I am back to share with you another what's for dinner. For the month of May, when I did a three week meal plan, I got a lot of my inspiration from my big old box of cookbooks. So I still haven't unpacked everything from moving. So all of my cookbooks are in one big box. And I literally sat on the floor with my notebook and my big old box of cookbooks. And I had planned out all the meals for May. And a lot of them were brand new recipes that we had never tried before, which I really truly enjoyed because we got a chance to really experience and try some things that we never would have tried before and we just loved them. So I have a bunch of meals to share with you guys. So I'm going to bring you down to my counter and I'm going to show you some of my favorite meals that we cooked up over the past month. So first up is a super easy pot pie recipe. And in this particular pot pie, I used some leftover pot roast. I had got a amazing pot roast from Costco, and this was the leftover meat that I used to make this dish. Now I have a full cooking video on the whole process of this, plus I shared this recipe in my cookbook, which is always linked down below. But you learn something new, every day and something I have learned since I first started making this dish is that I prefer the store bought pie crust and I prefer using the deep dish for the bottom so you get a nice hearty pot roast and then just using the regular crust for the top but again this is super easy and I'll link that video for you guys but definitely a must make I've done it with chicken with turkey and this pot pie with the pot roast was spot on. Now our next recipe was actually inspired by the next 50 shades of chicken recipe, which you guys will see next weekend. But I was surprised how much the kids tore up the fried chicken legs that we made. They enjoyed them so much. So I figured I would try another recipe with some chicken legs and I found this in one of my cookbooks. So I'll pop the picture up of the recipe in case you guys want to make it at home. But it was like a sticky soy orange kind of chicken sauce on top and it was really really good I made that with some parmesan orzo which I have a whole cooking video for that so I'll link that up above for you guys and down below as well and then I also made that Thai mango chili salad which I got from Costco which was really good it had like dried mango in it and toasted quinoa and this super citrusy and tangy dressing but it had a little bit of a bite to it probably one of the best salads I've ever had from Costco. So if you guys shop there and you like that kind of salad, I would keep my eyes peeled for that. That one was super good, but this ended up being a super delicious dinner. So this night for dinner was just plain old breakfast for dinner. I don't know about you guys, but we pretty much put this into our repertoire of rotation of dinners for at least once a week, if not three times a month. And sometimes we just do plain old regular bacon and eggs. You guys comment down below and let me know how you like your eggs but I like them either sunny side up or over easy because I am all about that yolk and I love dunking something into the yolk so this night I have just one piece of raisin toast that I just cut in half put a little bit of butter on so I had something to dunk in my eggs and then I served it with some strawberries and some watermelon the watermelon is on fire right now so so good I've learned my lesson to stop buying watermelon in the winter because we always have such high aspirations and then we're disappointed but lately the watermelon has been so delicious and this breakfast for dinner was so good. So this was a another new recipe where I'll pop that up on the screen for you guys but we absolutely love quesadillas in our house. We love any kind of Tex-Mex and we like to switch it up each week and I love doing quesadillas because I get the low carb ones and I feel like I can participate with everybody else and eat with everybody else is eating and this was like a switch. So this was a turkey BLT quesadilla which I thought sounded so good and so different but I ended up tweaking things now again I popped it up on the screen for you guys to see if you want to do it whatever way you want to do it but they wanted you to do a triple layer like I didn't really want to do that and then serve each person three 
full tortillas I would have had to just cut it in pieces and each person would have just gotten a few pieces so I literally just used two and made a regular quesadilla with all the turkey BLT toppings on the inside so we just did a thin layer of the refried beans and then some bacon and the cheese and the turkey and the lettuce and tomato and then just did it with the two pieces and we really really enjoyed it like that I served it with tater tots and we still dressed it on top with sour cream and cilantro like a regular quesadilla but it was just different with the filling I just wouldn't do the three layers but you guys can follow it just the way that they instructed but it definitely was a little much to do it that way but this was still so good and a definitely a new take on a quesadilla now lucky for you guys you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek so this night for dinner we did a food for dudes recipe so you guys are actually going to see that recipe on Tuesday it's already edited and done and set for you guys to see and this was so good so he made these chipotle grilled chicken sandwiches but he made his own marinade and it's like on a toasted onion roll with swiss cheese like so good so he shares with you guys his marinade and then we share with you guys their little chipotle mayo sauce and then that coleslaw is called cadillac coleslaw and that's something that i found in the i love lucy cookbook that i made for meal prep which you guys are gonna see on wednesday so within the next few days you guys will see all the recipes you're kind of getting a sneak peek on but but it was such a good dinner all those flavors together it was just like a nice grilled chicken sandwich with that salad on the side I really really truly enjoy like a fresh coleslaw and that Cadillac coleslaw was such a change and I just did fresh like home fries in the oven and they were so so good this was such a good dinner you guys another cookbook recipe that I'll pop up on the screen for you guys but this was a barbecue chicken salad this was absolutely delicious we don't have a barbecue right now and I didn't feel like running down and using one of the charcoal grills at the park so I just sauteed this chicken as opposed to the recipe asking for you to use grilled chicken but I just sauteed it in a pan and then cut it up and mixed it with barbecue sauce and then added it on top of a bed of lettuce with corn and I put cucumber and tomato and black beans and shredded cheddar and my homemade ranch dressing and it was so good and so light it was like a super hot night and we didn't do anything else for dinner but just that and it was perfect it was just enough we were all super full and it was really delicious and definitely a change again from something else that we normally do I really enjoyed using cookbooks this time around to pick our meal plan because we definitely stepped out of our comfort zone and did a bunch of things that we don't normally eat by far right here the best meal in this entire what's for dinner but I love steak and eggs I'm a big eggs person anyways but when I say I like something in my yolk steak inside of that yolk and the egg is just like the bomb.com for me so these were really delicious ribeyes that that I got from Walmart and I just put an over easy egg well sunny side up egg on top but that's compound garlic butter that you see right to the left of that egg that just melted all over the steak and those eggs and then all that yolk and stuff ran down over those roasted potatoes that I made those are the ones from Trader Joe's and those were beautiful asparagus from Costco that I just used bacon grease and some garlic inside of a frying pan and sauteed those asparagus until we, they were tender but holy cow was that meal not delicious now I have a recreated every plate meal for you. This was the very first recipe I ever made from them and it was linguine carbonara, which I never knew carbonara was so easy to make. I had never made it before, even being Italian and making all these Italian dishes. I really had just never made carbonara before I made it through every plate and I didn't realize how easy it was and how super delicious it was so I recreated it and we had another night of that here at home and I had a side salad with that where I put Thousand Island dressing on and then homemade croutons I actually put my homemade croutons in the pan with the bacon grease from that bacon that I cooked for the carbonara and I filmed that for you guys to see in the meal prep as well but let me tell you how that was the best set of croutons I have ever had but I love recreating these every plate meals because this was better than theirs no disrespect to every plate but you just use their easy recipe and then put your own 
concept and flair onto it. I'm going to pop up right here the potato soup recipe that I made. I never got a chance to take another clip. I lost that footage or something. I thought I had it, but I had nothing more than this Instagram photo. And we had the apple pie pork chops and I never got a what's for dinner clip of that either. So I'm really ashamed because I wanted to show you guys these recreations, but we still are enjoying their recipes. And that's some of the benefit of sharing those boxes with you guys is that you can take it from here and recreate it yourself. Another night where cookbooks became my inspiration. This came from a Dole pineapple cookbook where you actually made like a pineapple chutney to put on top of your pork chops, which was so so good I am such a pork chop person when you have some kind of like salsa and stuff and it required a teriyaki sauce so I had found this teriyaki sauce at the grocery store that was from a Panda Express and it's a mandarin teriyaki sauce and that just paired so perfectly with the pineapples and the purple onion and just everything that you put into it again I pop the recipe up on the screen for you guys to see so that you can try it yourself but what a fresh and summery take and I just served that with some buttered noodles and some broccoli but holy cow that pork chop was dynamite now this plate kind of warms my soul a little bit because I feel like this is me and my cookbook girlfriends like all on one plate so this is a whole chicken that I put in the crock pot I've never done that before that is one of Nicole Burgess's recipes in our cookbook and I want to be able to say I've cooked everything in our cookbook that isn't mine so I made her recipe and that was a delicious and then that is Vanessa's green beans she didn't share that in our cookbook but she shared that on her channel before and it is so so good with just the garlic and the sliced almonds and then that is my mashed potatoes back there but that was such a hearty delicious like home cooked kind of feel meal and I feel like I had all of my girlfriends like tucked into it it was really really yummy now we're on to our very very last meal and this is another recipe that I'll pop up on the screen for you guys because this was some kind of hash brown spicy salsa kind of casserole and so I tried to make like a Tex-Mex breakfast night it was okay I changed the recipe that they had just a little bit and I feel like I should have done a little bit more tweaking it was good in concept Jake devoured it he loved it so so much um the rest of us were kind of like eh it was okay I would remake it and then play with it a little bit uh, I had a half of a bagel not the full bagel and I had just the bottom because like the top is fluffier so I just had the tiny bottom uh, cut in half with a little bit of butter and then I made some ground sausage and eggs and cheese and put a little taco seasoning in that sausage egg and cheese on the side so it still had the same kind of feel and then I served it with watermelon that it looks super red because it actually froze in my outdoor fridge and when I brought it in and it was like bright red I was like oh no it froze but it froze to the point where it was absolutely delicious I love super cold fruit I don't know about you guys but I love the colder the fruit the better so it was just perfectly frozen not to where it was like unedible but frozen to where it was super delicious so that's why it looks like that but that was really 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 good we love our breakfast for dinner Okay, you guys, so that's it for this time's What's for Dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. We are knocking down June's door. Tomorrow is June the 1st. So I'm about to sit down and make my meal plan for the entire month of June. And if there's something you guys would like to see me cook this month that you want me to share in an exclusive cooking video or another what's for dinner, make sure to comment down below and let me know and I'll be sure to work that in my meal plan for you guys. Thanks again so much for watching. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.